You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. I'm your host, Denny Mussolini, and there are over 34,000 of you guys on our phone lines and our chat room, browser, Google Hangouts, Skype. All of the plugins that we use to run these episodes, you guys are filling them up, and I appreciate that greatly. So we have a very special guest for tonight's uh, episode, so you definitely want to stick around for that. If you have to, go ahead and grab your drink and take a chill pill and, and dive with me into this interview. So you got to make the effort. There are very few guarantees in life, yet one thing is certain. If you never attempt anything, you'll never accomplish anything. We frequently frequently are held back by fear of failure. And failure is always a possibility. It is a certainty. However, when you never try in the first place, you become what you think about the most. When you continually focus on the fear of failure, failure will become real for you. Look instead at the possibilities. Look at what could happen if only you would accept it or attempt it. Sure, it might not succeed completely, yet even then you will learn something. You got to make the effort, guys, with some passion, you know. With their expectation of success, focus on all the reasons why you will succeed and go for it. And don't look back. Take that from me, Daniel Salini. That is my word, and word is... You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello, and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music, or the book, or film, or even the business, where we dive into the minds of the people who create these marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are indigos, crystalline, or the star seas. For my vigilantes audience family, for my hooligans, and shout out to my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're in a struggle like me, we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners, and we've been at this for five solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we are still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, films, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists, uh, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology revolutionaries, visual artists, from authors to professors and vampires. Or people who think they're vampires. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out to book your interview or to appear on my other show called Skeptics. Email me at vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. And that's V as in Victor. We hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That is Vigilantes Radio Soul Purpose. You know the number to dial. 7 701 801 9813 
Share that number with your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in the mix directly from our website, which is only one media group.com. Right from the home page, you can slap that go live button and you'll be here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us. So feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here. But only as time permits, sometimes my guests and I talk entirely too much. And as always, all episodes are available for free download and you can grab them from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes plager.fm youtube any app from the google player itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we've ever aired well tonight's interview is the nick barnes interview and again i'm your host denny Mussolini. Wherever music takes him, we'll have an eye on Nick Barnes. And no matter what, we can only hope that if he does make it into the industry, that he never lose the integrity and honesty you see displayed in his music and in this interview tonight. Nick Barnes, I wish you well in both your personal and professional life. Every person I meet teaches me something, gives me a unique perspective, makes me appreciate a certain quality or value in life, your understand music, my good sir, has been and will continue to be tr- tremendously appreciated. So thank you for that. Your music exists in our universe, Nick, and you have a voice we can hear it clearly. Even across the nation over here in Mississippi and California, where we're both stationed and where we broadcast out of. So with that, let's go ahead and welcome Nick Barnes to the show. Hey, Nick, man, you're now live in the midst with all of us. How's it going? It's going good, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Definitely, definitely, man. Ah. So, how, how was your day, bro? How did your day go? Uh, today today was pretty chill. Uh, it was actually real chill. Uh, a, a cool friend of mine invited me to uh, one of his meditating courses. It's something new for me, something I like to stay open-minded, and I, and I checked it out. It was, it was very interesting, and, 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 and just, it, it, it's, it's funny how... I was so blind to actually meditating and, and I kind of took this on with an open mind and it really gave me a sense of peace so it's definitely something I'm going to I'm gonna definitely start tuning into a little bit more so that's pretty much how my day went today man that is very interesting um, I always wanted to get into uh, meditation but I'm going to be honest man my mind is just way too busy um, I've tried it before and I don't know, is meditation and just, you know, focusing on one thought or all your all thoughts right. or just being absent-minded? So, so it, 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 it's funny because this was what we were going over. I mean, it, it was it was a kind of like a special session. There was this guru from, I forgot where he was from, and he was, and he was breaking it down to us. I like it. What he was pretty much saying is a lot of people have this sense that they just sit there and be silent and that's how you meditate and for 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 someone that this is not a normal practice for this this could be definitely difficult it's just like you were saying my mind's racing all the time and what he was telling me is the 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 real big key to it is is your breath and 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 we as human beings forget how powerful the breath is when we first come out of, of our mom's stomach the first thing we do is take a breath and then we cry and when we die and go in that casket, the last thing we do is exhale a breath. So breath is really basically it to everything, to life. And, and while we're meditating, you really had me focus on my breath a lot. And, and when I was focused in, and, he, and, and meditating is really about being in, 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 in the now. So, so really the only thing that's always in the now is your breath. You know what I mean? The breath is never in the future. It's never in the past. It's always in the now. So he really had me focus on that. So if I could leave you with something I got from from that course today was um, next time you meditate, just try to focus on breathing and, and, and maybe look up a couple breathing exercises on YouTube and, or whatever just to, just to try to help you with it. Because it's it definitely something new for me, as I was telling you, and my mind races just as, just as fast as yours do, too. Nice, nice. So we're we're getting to see uh, a different side of Nick. Uh, I'm not sure how active you are on social media with uh, 
you know, different things that concern your personal life. Like, are you into, uh, like, chakras, gems, crystals, and, uh, you know, stuff of that nature? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't I don't necessarily know too much about it, but I know, like, in my sense, like, it definitely does hurt. Yeah, you know I mean, when I'm in... I have friends that are big in, in, in that type of stuff, so it kind of, like, rubbed off on a couple girls that I know, kind of like, hey, you got good energy, here's some things that could help channel it and stuff like that, and, I mean, I I, I, I get them, but I don't really know too, I'm not really too deep with it to, to really, you know, I mean, break it down. Definitely. Now, you know, th there's benefits to it, you know, to that lifestyle, and uh, especially when you have uh, women that are into it like that. Man, there's nothing like sex magic. So, <laughs> 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 just putting that out there. It, it, yeah, it, it's, I totally it's got incredible, that, bro. man. Yeah, it's incredible, man. Having your all your chakras aligned, and you know, a female who's on that type of level to meet someone who's trying to open up different dimensions in her own life, and then you know, you have your own perspective, and man, the mingling of all that explosions. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I guess I guess so, that's what. Oh, go ahead. I guess that's what's been happening. I haven't really, I haven't really started paying attention to it. Yeah, man. And and then your your spirit starts to attract a lot of it. You know, a lot of like like minded individuals. Even within the music industry, you'll be surprised to say uh, to meet someone, an artist or an executive who's on the level that you're either going to or already at. You know, right, right, right. Kind of makes the business transaction so smooth. Right, definitely feel that. Um, definitely. So, um, let's get a, a professional opinion from you. So, based okay. on your experience, is it actually possible for a person to come out on top, uh, whether they're trying to shoot for the mainstream or even just uh, as an independent artist? Can they have a home studio set up and still put out a banger or is uh, a pro studio really necessary in today's industry so i mean it, if you don't if you, if you have a regular studio and you could just lay down some vocals you could definitely you definitely 100 percent. all you have to do is just send it out to someone to master it so it can sound professional but you can 100 percent do it from your home studio and 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 if you and if you if you do your research and have all the right equipment to master it and make it sound professional and you could do that on your own or you could just record it like I said send it out to somebody like uh, Fiverr I know I know they have things where where they where you could connect to people that do design any any type of thing you need done so you could you have quick places like Fiverr now to, to get that done for you so you can mm -hmm. I, I say you can 100% really do that you man definitely do. Fiverr has totally changed the game uh, as far as like resource goes outsourcing that's, that's uh, man 10 years ago bro it was even even through the internet man uh, you can virtually co connect with anybody you can go on LinkedIn be friends with VPs and R's of any record label uh, and shoot your shot you know uh huh you can you can record an album upload it next week and be on iTunes like, exactly. The, the industry is so you know hands on, uh, um, and and Fiverr kind of bridges that gap with outsourcing. You have your album cover done for possibly you know little to nothing. You can have some promo done, some marketing, all sorts of things with Fiverr. It's crazy. Yeah, I got, but yeah, I, I wasn't really too present to. It. I was watching this this tape I forgot this YouTube guy on, on how to like balance money and stuff like that and he was just like hey yo fire everybody you know and you use you fire and, and then I and then I, I caught on to it and I'm like wow I, you pretty much mm -hmm. got everything you can for whatever you need here mm -hmm. so it's pretty that's definitely mm -hmm. dope yep definitely so let me see if I'm reading into this too much um what I'm sensing is a guy who's looking for his space, a man that cannot give up on the music, a solo artist who is willing to travel great lengths to perform and express himself. 
So, given that is your mission, what's the greater picture here? So, I mean, the the greater picture really here here really is just to have you know, have a have a life that I want. Have mm-hmm. have a life that I want to live. You know, what I mean, have a life where I could really contribute to the people around me in a larger scope than than I could actually do now. I mean, you're never you're never too small and never too big to contribute. But I know with the greater heights, I I could give more. You know what I mean? And and there's 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 programs that I want to create of my own from scratch. I mean, like programs for inner city kids, programs for people that struggle with drug addiction. And that sort, mm-hmm. of, and it just, it just, and and music. I, I couldn't. There's no other way that I, I I see myself wanting to do that besides music, something that I love. And, you know, what I mean, just just being able to give back. You know, what I mean, I'm all about making really. I'm all about making songs that you know, what I mean, are fun, catchy, that that people could enjoy. You know, what I mean, because I love I love hearing a song at times that really. As long as long as the day I've, I, I I may have, I've turned on a good song and it really relaxes me. And to give that back to it's just you know what I mean. It's just a blessing in itself. Definitely. If we subtracted music from the equation, what kind of Nick Barnes would we see? If you had subtracted music from the equation, um, you would see. Someone that's really dedicated to empowering himself. Someone that's really, really, really out to, to get what what life has to offer. Um, someone that's mm-hmm. that's that very is very passionate and cares about the people around them. I mean, I've 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 been through I've been through a lot growing up. I mean, I've I've lived a couple different kind of lifestyles and and. And the person I am right now is literally someone that's really just trying to grow to be the best person he possibly could be. So without the music, that that's what you see, someone that's growing to be the best person they possibly could. Definitely, definitely. So you have your record, How I Do. You're the primary writer of this record, probably the only writer. Um, yeah. Tell us some details about the origins of the song. So I, I am the only writer of this. I'm, I'm the only writer of everything I've, I've put out. <laughs> and the how this song came about was I, I was I was making a lot of you know what I mean meaningful songs and and, and 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 catchy hooks. And my friend was just like Nick, you need to put out another banger. I need to hear another banger from you. So I mean, it took me about all day to find a beat that was like really just you know what I mean like if you if you listen to the beat it really gets pumped up and, and, and I just went ham. I mean I went hours all night creating that song, you know what I mean? So it really was inspired from my boy just like, yo Nick, I need to hear a banger. And that's yeah. really where it came from. How much time was uh in between the last banger you did that, you know, they were requesting something new from you? So the time in between that was maybe a month, month and a half. You know what I mean? Like, I, and 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 with that is, I, I can write, I can write bangers all day, but but sometimes mm. I write with, I'm the kind of guy that I write what the beat gives me. You know what I mean? If it's like a real soft, soft song, or if it's a loving kind of song, whatever the beat gives me, I kind of vibe off to it and put my experience of what that vibe is into it. And so, so, so I, when I was making this song, I skipped through a lot of different beats to really, you know what I mean, to really put out that banger because I. It just I, I I you know what I mean I, want, I like I like not only do I want to make him happy at the point but I like bangers myself so I was like yeah I got you and so right so long story short a month in between a month and a half in between before I put that out nice nice um who was the producer shout out the producer for us uh Alex Ripshaw he was he was he was the producer for that yeah you can definitely check him out on um. Twitter, Alex Lipshaw, and uh, Instagram, same thing, Alex Lipshaw, Snow Tree Production, definitely. He's a, he, nice. he, pr- he produces all my tracks for me, and, oh, and that's so- okay. also I also work with um, a local guy not too far away from me when when Alex is in Nashville and stuff like that. We, me and this guy named um, B Magic in uh, Lakeport, Florida. He definitely he definitely puts it down to so nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, what about the engineer? 
who pl- who played that role? The engine, both both of them, both of them play both roles. They they they, uh, they they make beats and they record. Nice, nice. Okay, so yeah. you got kind of a, a a team thing going on here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That kind of helps shape the uh, Nick Bourne sound. Definitely, one hundred percent. Nice. So I've seen the video for uh, how I do. And I'm, I'm curious about the song and video for it. So, first of all, I was wondering if you can give us some insights into, like, the actual visual here uh, for those who haven't seen it without giving away too many spoilers because they got to go watch it. Uh, what was the inspiration behind the visuals? So, the inspiration, I kind of had a thought of it, you know what I mean? I, I, I was being real cool. And the song, the song, mm-hmm. I, I was doing a lot of really cool lyrics, so I really wanted to make it like, you know, cool and appealing at the same time and back up what I was saying. So, so, so I, I really try to, try to stick to the lyrics and, and produce a video to match it, but sometimes it's kind of very hard to do. So, right. so what came about was like, I'm, my, my one friend, um, he had a story, he's like, yo, I'll shut down the store for you, you should definitely come, come out, and I, I mean, I, I didn't know what, to, I'm like, I don't know what to do in this store, but like, yeah, I mean, we really got creative, um, my cameraman, Gambo, um, he really got creative with it, too, and I mean, we were all shooting back ideas back and forth with each other, and, um, for a scene with the shorty, uh, she she she's a she she's a big supporter of mine and a fan as well and she's like yo and she always wanted to be in a music video and she like mm-hmm. she had her little fantasies that she wanted in the video and I was like dope what's wrong with it and, and and then we just created that so it was it was it was a team team effort it was a lot of brainstorming and we all came together and just made magic with that definitely so man what advice would you give like a new artist that's trying to approach this music thing for the very first time like how was the process for you um when it came to just sitting down to a freshly recorded or just sitting down to an idea you had in your your head and then um you sat down to write it and record it like can you describe that process for a newbie so the 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 process for me i mean i was lucky enough to have a I had a MacBook at the time, and um, mm. I don't know. It was, it was, it was, it was something that I, 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 I'd sit down and and, and and I'd write songs and I'd write songs until I was just, until it, it just became something that was just so fun for me to do in the process. And and as mm-hmm. I was writing them, I mean, they, they they got better and better over time. But the, the it, it wasn't just about writing them for me. It was like after writing them, recording them, and hearing. So it, it 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 sounds a certain way in your head until it's like literally yep. out, and it's it's like it's like when it doesn't match up is when it sounds like in your head. You're like, ah oh, man, you know what I mean. So like I from mm. what I say, because before anything, it really it really it really is the music. So what I would say is I I'd, I'd 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 work on I'd I'd really try to master my craft and and really make sure I. It, what, what I'm imagining is actually what's out there, and not just going off of what people are saying. Because a lot of a lot of a lot of our close friends, they don't really want to hurt us and stuff like that. So they'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, it's cool, it's cool." Yeah, I mean, look for that authentic feedback where they're just like, "Yo, this is crazy. I love this track." Mm. Yeah, they're just saying yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's cool, cool." Really look for that, and 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 reach out to people that don't that don't really know you, that don't even care if you, if you get your feelings hurt. So they can really like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, really use the feedback and don't, and when you get the feedback, don't, don't take it to the head, you know what I mean? If you could use it, use it. If not, throw it away and just keep creating. Just keep creating. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And how do you learn something when you don't know how to do it um, when it comes to like programs? How did that work for you? Um, like everything, practice or research, just practice and mm-hmm. research. And, and and the more the more time you put into anything, the better you get at it. And that's with everything mm-hmm. in life. So yeah. So let's keep it short and sweet for that. <laughs> man, in your opinion, man, what's the best move you think someone can make as an independent artist looking to get their name out there? Um, it's it's something I'm working on myself as well. Really reaching a greater audience and, and just just really promoting yourself um like like we were talking about internet social media nowadays is really really easy to get yourself out there and 
and just mm -hmm. not only on the social media basics like go to go to events to get, to get yourself registered to do shows and as much as much as you could put yourself out there to the public that 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 really is the best bet as an independent artist get, get yourself noticed by your community by the people around you definitely word of mouth goes a long way as well right absolutely yes sir so have you ever like uh have you heard well have you ever like called one of your buddies or something and they're playing your music in the back background um or are you you uh hear somebody who has your uh your music as their ringtone you ever there that ever happened to you before yeah, actually, you know, it, was, it was a funny thing. I got, I got in this girl's car. Um, some cool girl I met at this uh, training and development course. And um, when I got in the car with her, she, she plugged her phone up. And when she plugged her phone up, immediately my song was playing. And it was just like we kind of looked at each other. And it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was, it was a funny moment. Yeah, I, mean, I wasn't expecting her to be listening to my song, and, and she was just like. Yeah, I do listen. It was like that look of yeah, I do listen to your song. It's awesome. It was just, it was a good feeling. You know, what I mean, very, very yeah. humbling. <laughs> I can't imagine. What song was it? Um, it's it's it, it was actually a song that I had on on SoundCloud. It was called Now You Know Track. And and as I got better with with my vocals and remastered my sound, I kind of took it off SoundCloud. And um, I'm releasing yeah. it with. Uh, with my album um and later on this month so so to put that back out with a better sound to it i i, I just had to so so that's pretty cool definitely all right guys after the music break it'll be time for our usual tradition it is called the hot seat and our fans love this part of the segment of course along with the actual interview so if the audience get to hear either uh some vocals from nick maybe he can sing maybe he does poetry inspirational speeches spoken word freestyle raps joke stories live instruments you never know what these creative minds and vessels were produced in the spotlight and today we'll find out if nick barnes has what it takes to be put on the spot a test of his true artistry and maybe even some hidden talents but for right now we have nick barnes with his song how i do and we'll be right back Again, that's what my brother. No homo if you're homo. Your money 
with this hot song how i do make sure you go cop that uh we have all the uh the links in the description of this episode and the show notes so all you have to do is click those links go watch the video go support the record all right guys it's all about mindset you can do whatever you set your mind on doing in fact you're doing it already your current reality is based on what your mind has been set on achieving if you're an effective parent, it's because you set your mind on being one. If you're an overnight, I mean not overnight, but overweight uh, couch potato, that's what you set your mind on becoming. If you're exceeding your sales quota and making a six-figure in- income, it's because you set your mind on doing it. Your mindset controls your reality. You make your own circumstances based on what you expect them to be or what you expect yourself to be. Expect the best of yourself and you'll get it. Set your mind on fulfilling your enormous potential and it will happen. Take that from me, Danny Mussolini. That is my word and word is bond. But for right now, let's bring back the man of the moment. Uh, Nick Barnes, you're back live with us and in our hot seat. What do you have for us today? The hot seat. So, I mean, Jordan, as my son was saying, I'm thinking to myself, what what possibly could I do? I mean, I definitely don't got no stories off the head of where I could do scamming. So the only thing I could think of is this hit or freestyle. So, I mean, I haven't spent a cappella in a while, but I, I could definitely give give it, give it a shot for everybody out there today. All so right, we could all do right. that. That'll work. All right. Hit my throat. Bat. A lot of thoughts, a lot of goals. Would I get them on? Who knows? But me. Bitches wanna fuck me, my niggas don't corrupt me, all that shit disrupts me from what I'm trying to do and what I need to get done. It's kinda lonely when you really are the one, but I get it, they just wanna have fun, but how can I have fun? So much work to be done, so I'm making moves, don't get put in your place, and you could chase these hoes, I got dreams to chase. Get that negative shit the fuck out my face, bitch I'm a star, I need my space. So give me my space and back the fuck back. Tell me play my role. I don't know how to act, but I know I'm that. Don't need feedback. Catch me in the streets. Won't get no dap. Fuck keep it a stack. It's one million. Call the boys. Cause I'm killing them. Fresh Prince willing them. Hate his lips stealing them. Clowns, I'm revealing them. Fuck them, I ain't feeling them. Before I chill with them, I'd rather do this shit alone. Go ahead, knock me. Nobody home. Try and call my phone. Get dial tone. Can't hear you niggas. Too far in the zone. I'm in, uh, uh, some, some, some light. Some light. All right, all right, all right. Man, Nick Barr spitting them flames. Definitely. Something light. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. We got to keep our eye on you, bro. Got to keep our eye on you. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So I want to part with this last question. Um, Courage isn't the absence of fear, but fear is a request for courage is there anything that you fear absolutely I mean I got a lot of fears I mean sometimes they don't even sometimes they they hide themselves very well but I definitely do um, um, the biggest fear I probably got is fear of failure for sure definitely, definitely. let everybody know uh, some of your favorite ways are our favorite social media sites to connect uh definitely instagram to connect with me on or just to connect period just connect period with you uh definitely definitely instagram um twitter 
Um, I'm, I'm mostly on those two sites. Uh, you can check out my YouTube page. But mostly, mostly, mostly Instagram though. Like if you're if you're looking to connect with me, I'm, I'm I always answer back. Um, and I always got my phone on me too. It's it's very accessible. So just hit me up on there if you're looking to connect. Yeah. All right, and and guys, just in case you need those links, as I told you before, um, they are in the show notes and description of this episode. So all you have to do is click the links. Um, we have them actually as hyperlinks. So no matter where you at, uh, iTunes, iHeart, Spotify, uh, Player FM, Castbox, any podcast app that you use, you can just click the link from within the app. Oh yeah, just told you a little secret. All right, Nick Barnes, man, we appreciate you and appreciate your music, man. Thanks for being our guest tonight. Definitely, man. I appreciate the time. Appreciate you having me on here, man. Um, you're doing your thing. You had a lot of good words of wisdom, man, and, and, and a lot of knowledgeable stuff to really take and tune out. Definitely stay tuned to, to, to this and, and listen more often as well. So I appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store, or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to the radio at only one media group.com if it's music please label it by artist and title here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it <laughs> Nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night. Listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.